have eyes to see and ears to hear and hearts to understand. We will do just that according to his word. And so I pray today that the Lord will speak to your heart and cause you to become a better believer, a better follower, a more committed in these troublesome times in which we live. Because the word of God tells us that we live in the end of times. The times we live in now, what the, the scripture talks about, as the last days. And I'm sure that you are quite familiar with that right now. What these last days are. And I pray that God will, will cause you to be able to recognize some things in your own life that you uh, know that you need to change, you need to improve, you need to develop in, you need to trust God in, to make his relationship with you a real one. And that's what he's interested in. Amen. Okay, our topic today is obeying God eliminates I wonder what's next. When you obey God, a lot of situations that you see now around will be eliminated. The question, Lord, I wonder what's next. Now remember here, I want to open this, this message today with specifically two scriptures. Because the word of God quite clearly uh, reveals the prophetic signs and things that are happening in our life now, today. Okay? And the first scripture, the first scripture is Hebrews chapter 3 and verse 6. And it says this. But Christ as a son over his own house. Whose house are we? If we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. Remember, let me read that again. Verse 6, Hebrews chapter 3, and it says this, But Christ has a son over his own house. Remember, if you're a child of God, you're a part of his house. And so he's over you. Okay? Whose house we are, if we hold fast, if you hold fast, it's not an automatic state. If you hold fast to the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm until the end. In other words, that you continue to remain faithful to him. That's what it's basically saying. You're a part of his house. If, you're, if you remain faithful to him, and be remaining faithful to God is simply your responsibility for God. Now, our second scripture here is found in Hebrews chapter 4, and verse 1, and it says this. Let us therefore fear less, the promise, being left, being left us to enter into his rest. That's the promise he left us now. That any of you should seem to come short of it. In other words, he's saying, be very careful of the way you live and what you do. Be very uh, aware of the conditions in which you thrive. Unless somehow you lose your way. Now, the responsibility is yours. God didn't say, he's going to do this for you and do that for you and do the next thing for you if you don't care to do it. God is saying to you that your strength and your courage for life and for eternity, for this eternal hope that he has given to us, lies with what you do in relationship to him. Obeying God eliminates the I wonder what's next situation. Now here, we are in a situation in this world today. Nobody knew how it was going to come. The word of God, first of all, tells us that in the last days, men in perilous times, men should become lovers of themselves. And in other words, many will drift away from him. And not only that, we say, even the elect, they don't watch out. Even you who have been striving on for Jesus for many years, 
You're not exempted from falling if you don't be careful. 